hello guys here we are today in uh, autodesk maya today we are going to look at how to render this small animation it's just animation of um, a table tennis playing by no one so let's play it you can see um, no one is playing it but it's playing pretty cool right so today we are going to look at how to render this out in Maya how to apply some small light and pretty much something basic let's get into it um, I'm gonna go to polygon and insert a plane so that we have a floor here so I'm also going to scale this up to cover the place so since this is gonna be um, a turbo tennis court um, probably I'm gonna make it an indoor instead of outdoor kind of so I'll just increase the size of this then I'm going to select the contiguous edge just by double clicking on it then we use the extrude tool change the position of this and drag this up like so hope this is not too big so can just drag it up like this maybe up to this point then we go ahead and extrude again in order to close it if we change the position this time around we are scaling it close all right so we have it indoor right now okay so what this is gonna do is um, by the time we do a preview render you can see um, let's just hit on the preview render button you can see the result we have pretty plain right so let's add some lights to add a light just come to light use all light so you're basically gonna turn everywhere to dark because we are using all light then we want to insert some some simple light under rendering we go and insert something like um, a point light would be nice and we zoom in so on this point light we can raise this up and raise the point light up and the direction of the point light now I really want to be looking through this so what I can do is to select this object go to the attribute editor by pressing ctrl a on my keyboard under the p plane shape turn where you can have access to render start uh, make sure you turn off double sided hmm? so with that we can really see through this uh, uh, just for um just for note sake if we render this by hitting on the render button what we are going to see at the end of the day is we are going to see through the cube to see the element because we are having double sided now if i check the opposite i don't have anything but if i uncheck the opposite you can see i can see through this object so this will allow me to light the scene properly then i'm going to turn it back on when i'm done so i'm just going to select this um light and move it up up to this point and i also want these um to be touching the ground so i can select this object and let me just disable that double sided of a thing for a minute so i want the tennis to stick out okay it's really sticking out you can see the legs here so we don't have any problem with that we just turn this back on all right so i want to turn on resolution gate so that i will be able to see um the things that will be cut out in this so i can just go to my view camera settings resolution gate so anything that is outside this reach will be cut out all right by the time i render the scene again just with one light i think i'll be having a better result okay this is not bad but the shadows are too dark and the light is not that realistic so let's come over to windows outliner just to turn on our outliner select the point light come over to your 
attribute editor i want to change this decay rate to linear so that it simulates something more natural so increase the intensity to maybe 15 or 25 pretty much then also i want to turn off the shadow so i will come over to this place use ray trace shadows off so it's not going to have any shadows i'm just going to insert another light that will cast shadows all right i think this is a little bit better now one other thing i want to do is to insert another light this time around i'm going to change the position of the light to this direction but what i'm going to do is to make sure i use linear with 1.0 intensity then i want this to cast shadows so i'm having two light one is casting shadow over there then i'll make a copy of the other one on this corner so it will cast shadow on the other corner like that all right let's see what we have now okay this is more better and we're having shadows coming from both sides so we're having this nice shadow in the middle not too thick unlike the other one so this is pretty much okay now what i want to do is to come over to my render settings this button here to minimize the graph editor under this place i want to make sure i change the load preset to production quickly so that will make it more clear it's going to load a lot of things here then um, we can play with the final guard and global illumination but this is pretty much basic we are not really doing something complex so let's render it and see what we have okay good so you can see we are having something more better now okay now what we are going to do is to since we've set up this for just for demonstration sake i'm going to turn on global illumination and final gather just for you to see um the difference but mind you if you are turning on these two things it's going to take more energy or more um, resources in terms of your gpu or your system it's going to take more of that and it's definitely going to take time to render out especially for animation sake just to be clear with that but the quality though is much much better than the previous one okay this is pretty much okay with what we want now we can close this now let's play the animation one more time now if you look at this other one is a kind of this is visible but this other uh, one is not visible towards this area so I want to position this in such a way that it will also be visible uh, somewhere around this area. Okay, pretty much okay. Uh, let's rotate it a little bit. This position. I still want to see the other leg, so let's render this view and see. Okay, I think this view is pretty much okay nothing too special all right this is all right let's pause the animation now we want to render this not just for preview we want to render the animation that is from this frame one all the way to frame 54 um i know this has been some challenges for some upcoming um 3d animators or 3d users uh especially when they do some small things they want to render it out uh, but here you are going to just find a, an easier way to render your work out the first thing first is to make sure you open up the render settings under the common tab look at this part here this very part this is actually where the rendered frames will be in your system so we i have my desktop recent maya project new project images so this is where i'm gonna see those um frames that are being rendered with maya on this part and also if you've set your project from the beginning set project the set project will automatically locate the part and the rendering will use the part of your project as you can see over here on this bar is the same part so it's going to use the same part under the image folder that is where you are going to see all the render data okay 
now um we don't really need to turn on enable color management this is pretty much basic now i want to give this a title that's a fine name prefix there is uh, some other things you can do here but this is pretty much basic we are going to just call it um tennis tennis um then the file format we can use jpeg and that will not consume a lot of memory now um we can render avi or maybe dot mov or mp4 directly what we are going to render is actually an image sequence that later on we are going to use a third party application maybe like premiere pro or after effect to match the sequence image and finally get it out as an mp4 or um avi or any of those um format okay so the compression quality i think this is okay this is very very important the frame slash animation extension just make sure you check the you change this from single frames to name dot um name dot ash dot extension so that's going to give us file name tennis dot zero 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 dot jpeg to the number of the last frame so our last frame here is 54 so i'm going to type in 54 you can see it's going to change 1 to 54 frames okay um padding is set to 000 you can reduce that the number of zeros so that we just have 0 1 to 54 uh, but if you are rendering in thousands so the padding can be increased okay renderable camera you can see we are using the perspective camera so that's what we are rendering um alpha channel this is indoor so the alpha channel whether check or not check doesn't really matter okay um the the image size do we want it to be hd if we want full hd we can come here and choose hd 1080 so that was a change here so if you want um half of hd which is 540 you can also choose that maybe we can just do hd that's all you need to do here every other things here you can just leave it they are pretty much um, okay the way they are then um, go ahead and close this box the next thing to do is to switch from animation to rendering then under your rendering go to render and click on patch render that's all there is to it guys and um, you can as well as turn on the script editor just to see the rendering progress you can see rendering with mental ray so you are just gonna hold on before you see the progress okay here we go you can see percentage is zero it will start rendering those files and just to be clear by the time I go to my finder, if I can just open a file explorer here, uh, probably let's go to these images, okay? Then this is where we are. So you can see we have 10x01, it's gonna drop them there one after the other until we have 10x54, which is the last frame. I'm just going to pause the video then we'll continue after the rendering is done. You can see tennis 01 is done already, just the first frames. So the rest of the frames is going to um, render pretty much very soon. Then um, we'll pause the video then we we'll come back and um, use a third party application like Premiere Pro to merge it together and get it out as an AVI file. Stay tuned guys um you can see the rendering is complete from here we have results rendering completed see mental see maya rendering log dot test for information so this is it and uh, if i come to my finder here where i have the path you can see desktop recent all the way to images just the way we have it in maya uh, you can see desktop recent maya project to images so if we come to that place you can see we have all the rendered image you can see this is how it look like so these are the different um, frames now um, I'm gonna make another tutorial on how to you know composite this um, in a third party application like a Premiere Pro in order to do the final output for mp4 or probably a movie or any or any format that i want uh, just keep 
on watching uh watch out for the part two of this video tutorial and um i will see you soon if you like this don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to leave your comment thank you guys bye